Good morning, amigas. Today we are gonna go hit up the old folks' yard sale. It starts today. It's usually fill a bag for three dollars, but sometimes they change it. So we'll see what it's go what's going on today. I've been really wanting to come to this yard sale like the first day it starts to see like how lucky I get. I've gone in the past like pretty early and I get pretty lucky so fingers crossed it is raining this morning so I'm hoping they still have it. They always say rain or shine but sometimes they do cancel it. Last month they did cancel it so yeah. Oh hi if you're new here my name is Luisa and this is Funky Cool Threads. We talk all threads, all fashion and we do some thrifting on this channel and yeah so let's head on over and see if we get lucky today at the old folks yard sale. I'm so excited. Let's go. like all my stuff i'm just kind of skimming to see if i find any like last minute things i feel like it got kind of crazy pretty fast like there was a lot of people so i just gotta get to work these anchor blue shorts are pretty cool but yeah not much left on the rats like just a little skim here and there i looked at the kids but the kids wasn't that great to be completely honest with you but yeah I don't know there's not much in the kids i think i'm gonna head back inside to, to skim like one last round and then see if i find anything Okay guys, so I'm officially done hunting. Let me show you guys my cart. Some kind of fancy toy. Yeah, my husband she gets stuff like this for me. <laughs> and the fuzzy guy is the control? Is the is the oh, mic. Is the, is the Do you want to say anything to the people? Hello. <laughs> come to the sale. Yes, come to the sale. <laughs> So, I'm officially done hunting. I think I'm probably just going to take one last like, look around. I got, I got quite a bit, but I'm going to look through all my items. I found this one kind of last minute, and I want to show it to you guys because it's super cute. But it's this vintage Forever 21 little, like, ruffle little cardigan. How cute is that? And it has a little tie front closures. It's freezing out here, so I'm going to try to hurry and get out of here as fast as I can because it is pretty freaking cold. Um, I don't mind putting stuff on that because I'm gonna wash it anyways. This heart cardigan, so cute. But I'm gonna be iffy about some pieces. Look at these cute little red Levi shorts. Oh my god, I got so lucky in the shorts. Like so much shorts, which is perfect for obviously spring and summer. We love a good short moment. A lot of Liz Claiborne shorts, which is awesome. Abercrombie and Fitch, like vintage ones. Those are neat. You can tell whoever, like, what's it called, donated these. It was like a fan of like corduroy because these are all just so amazing. Like, look at these. So freaking cute. Okay, guys, I'm gonna start packing up all this stuff. Let's see how many bags I can fill all of this clothes in. So, I'm thinking. I can do a solid three to four bags, but we will see. Let's do it. I want to see how this looks. I like it, but I just don't know. 
No, it's cute. I should take it. This is what we're looking at. Three bags I managed to fit all that stuff in. I am so, I am so happy. And then look who I found here. Cupid Berries Vintage. <laughs> oh my God. Skimming through the baby clothes. What's new? Martha, look at these ones. Look at these. The cart? Yeah. What cart? Like my cart cart? It's outside. Oh, it's outside. It is freezing. Like, it is so freaking cold out here. It's 59 degrees out, but honestly, it does not feel that way. I feel like I am so cold. I'm sorry if you guys can barely hear me because of the heater, but I am just so cold. I need to warm up these little hands of mine. Um, I'm gonna go stop and get some caffeine because I feel like I need um, coffee because I mean like I just I just need caffeine and yeah I will I will see you guys when I get back home I'm gonna go home and wash everything and then I will um, I will show you guys the haul once we're home so let's go out here working hard you know getting, <laughs> getting rizzed on Weird. Almond chocolate butter almond croissant. Alright, cool. Um, 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 give it to me. Let go. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna go get the kids. Alright, cool. How'd it go? It went very well. Alright. I love you. Alright, awesome. You guys are not going to believe this haul, guys. I got a total of I wanna say that Juan Carlos and I um I want to say Juan Carlos and I counted a total of 37 pieces for $9. Yes, $9, guys. I managed to roll up all that clothing in three bags. And then this isn't even all of it. I have some of it down here, which is like all the bottoms and stuff. Um, I washed everything and went straight into taking pictures. So if you guys see any of the pieces on here, it is all going to be linked down in my description. It's going to be posted on the website at funkycoolthreads.com. I do have the items also listed on Depop, but I, I do list them on the website five or ten dollars cheaper. So why not snag the deals there? So let's just jump into the haul. I'm going to go straight into the bottoms because they're probably my favorite pieces that I found. One being these pins stripe pants you guys know i'm pinstripe crazy this is by the brand fashion bug but there are these pinstriped um trousers and i just thought they were so pretty they are plus size which i love i've been meaning to find some for my plus size rack when i do markets especially now that it's getting a little bit more springy and stuff i'm starting to do more markets so i'm trying to expand my racks with kids clothing plus size and just a little bit of everything another pair of bottoms i found were these polo um 100 cotton uh ralph lauren jeans this tag just alone is insane to me i think it is so beautiful i love the wash of these jeans these might or might not be kids but the button fly closure also is just one of my favorite like details that jeans have and i love also i don't know if this was intentionally but the buttons are all different colors i don't know if that was intentionally like i mentioned but i love the wash of these these i didn't get they're a 30 by 30 but they would just not go past my hips so yeah that's always usually my issue because every time i gain weight it goes straight into my hips and I mean, for some, that's not much of a problem, but I hate when I can't fit into my vintage jeans. So for me, it is a problem. Another pair of jeans that I found, which I think are also kids, are these really cool Wrangler um, carpenter kind of pants, like that baggy look and feel with the pockets on the side. I think that is really cool and I just love the style of them. And I just think any cool little kid would look so cool in these. So I had to get these. And honestly, the kids was pretty dry. I didn't really find much in the kids section. Another plus size cutie, which I love so much, is this forest green maxi skirt. I think it is so freaking gorgeous. It has like this lace up detail on the back of the skirt. And then the front of the skirt has all this like cute stitching all across. 
kind of going all over the skirt down to the back or down to the side and the back also has like a slit opening this is so gorgeous i wish this would have fit me because i would have instantly kept it but not my size but so so beautiful has a side zipper closure love this one this one's probably my favorite favorite find and i think it, the little lace up on the back does it for me i love that love that detail a next is this beautiful okay this one when i picked it up it was kind of funky on the hanger but once i opened it i was like yes so it was like this on the hanger and it's actually a like little wrap skirt so it goes like this and like this and ooh, it is just so cute i love the muted just gray color palette because i feel like gray is a color that you can wear all year long i just think it's cute and i love that it's mini this is by the brand you babes it is vintage which we love that so yeah we got this baby i'm sorry if the lighting is kind of bad i wanted to film this kind of in the late daytime hopefully that lamp helps a little bit i just don't i feel like the studio lights is too much sometimes and i don't get a chance to film during the day because of the kiddos so sorry in advance a uh, next is this really cute tiered um, maxi skirt and this beautiful little blue color palette. I just love this color. I just think it's so cute for spring and summer. And the best part about this skirt, guys, it has pockets. Like, yes, it has pockets. I think this is a modern brand. It's by the brand Young, Fabulous, and Broke. And it is a size small, but I feel like obviously with the drawstring waistband, it can go a little bit further to other sizes as well. But yeah, I love me a good maxi tiered skirt. This is where it starts getting good. So towards the end of my trip, I kept seeing this black thing hanging on this rack. And I was like, what is that? And it is the coolest maxi, like those like cottony skirts, which I feel like are really popular right now. But it has this like tie that you can wrap around the skirt, which I love. And the best part is that when I was doing a try on for these, um, for my like pictures and stuff, I could even wrap it around my neck and it could be a cute little halter moment for like the summer for like your bathing suit. How cute is that? And if it's at a good length for it to be so versatile as a dress and as a maxi skirt. So I am so glad I picked this one up. I just think it's so cute, so versatile. We love versatile pieces in our closet. And now for the shorts. I hit some shorts jackpot. And I know the trends right now are like, okay, like short shorts are gonna be in, but the vintage girlies who love vintage shorts are always gonna go for the comfortable mom short. And these, without a doubt, always sell really good on my Depop and they're all corduroy. So we have this like dark forest green color for these ones. And I'm convinced the same person donated all these these are by the brand liz sport petite we love me a good liz sport moment i just love a good corduroy short these next ones are just to die for and they're these beautiful floral corduroy shorts they're by the brand fundamental things they are vintage and come on this design alone it's giving like grandma core in the best way possible i love me this purple color palette it is so gorgeous and oh, i just love me a good vintage short and i love that they hit kind of like low and i just feel like they're good for everyday wear like i can wear this to the grocery store i can't picture myself wearing short shorts to the grocery store you know so i love those next are kind of giving like a little golf vibe but i love these plaid also by liz sport these plaid corduroy shorts so freaking cute and like i mentioned they do give a little bit more like a uh, fall a little bit of winter but girl it does not matter. I can easily wear these with a little pop of white, like a little white tank top, a cute little white ballet flat. And hello, we have a spring short. So yeah, these are so cute. I am just, I'm a sucker for corduroy and in shorts. Are you kidding me? Like, come on. 
We also did get a purple pair. This one is screaming more spring and summer and they are a little bit more on the brighter color palette. These are by the brand Abercrombie and Fitch. I, can't, I don't know if I'm saying that right, but I don't know if they're vintage or not. They feel vintage, they look vintage because I can't even picture Abercrombie and Fitch um, like having this type of style nows and they I feel like they kind of just go with those so I feel like they are vintage but yeah 100% cotton little corduroy short and I just feel like these would be so fun with like a little vibrant bathing suit in the summer I'm just walking around with my cute little shorts and my little bathing suit top oh so cute I love that and we double scored on a pair of Lee denim shorts are you kidding me? I feel like the girls go crazy for denim shorts, especially when they're already shorts and not like made into shorts. I feel like they fit a little bit better, but I don't know. That's just my opinion. They're both super gorgeous. I love that they're both like a different color, a colorway. This one's a little bit more of a lighter wash. This is more of like a lighter wash medium and they both fit super nice. And these are also listed already on the website. These two skirts, I kind of just wanted to add in here because I found these like the next day at Salvation Army and I was like, when am I ever going to have a chance to show these to you guys? But I found the cutest little skirt at Salvation Army and it's this Calvin Klein. It is 100% silk, I want to say. Is it silk? Yes, 100% silk and it's giving kind of like that Y2K. Oh, I just love the frilliness of it. It's so pretty. I love this design. It has little specks of like sequins kind of throughout, which I love. And I just, I just think it's so fun. It's giving kind of like a little bit of a ballet vibe. And I found a cotton skirt that actually fits because my other one is so big on me. But this one's by the brand Coco Bianco. It is a size medium, so I do need to try it on still, but it's a long maxi but look at this a little like featheriness at the bottom it's given like those like pleated kind of what is it like that pointed that fairy pointed hem kind of vibe and i just love maxi skirts like this because they're so effortless and i feel like they're good for everyday wear now jumping into tops and dresses that i found oh my god guys can we just start off with the banger of the dresses? Look at this most gorgeous silk dress. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? This is like a perfect prom moment. I had just finished steaming it and it has a cowl neckline. It has these frilly sheer um, shoulder caps on the dress and it, oh, they open up. Are you kidding me? The cowl neckline and then look at this beautiful design with the sequins so so beautiful and it's obviously feels so buttery because it's silk it's just absolutely gorgeous it is a size a it is vintage and she is the moment like are you kidding me are you kidding me i was able to find this in a fill -a bag so like that is insane next is this like linen style dress i don't know if she's actually linen she feels linen but I really like these for like my goth like girlies who like still want to do summer but still want to wear black and it's a long black maxi dress and it's giving like I said that linen material and I love these buttons. The buttons are like these triangle shaped but they feel like rock or like metal and I just love the way they feel. And they're by the brand J. Jill, size large but I feel like you could easily belt this, make it a cute little moment wear your Doc Martens and still go with like a nice little gothy vibe. This one I love, I love so much. This gingham pink dress. And I know gingham is like so popular right now, but look at these little scallop trimming loops on the sleeves, the collar. Obviously the buttons are gorgeous. The buttons actually have some floral engraved details on them. And I just think that just makes it extra like just cute. And the back has a lace up detail. It is plus size, so this is gonna go on my plus size rack. But I just think it's so gorgeous. Like look at this. And I just love this like soft pink color palette. I love how lightweight it is and just like comfy it's gonna feel during the hot summers and the spring. Just super, super gorgeous. 
This one I love so much. I just wish it wasn't so long, but it's another vintage beauty. And she is quite long, but she comes with this lace bolero. And it is detachable, so it can just be the dress, the spaghetti strap, or you can wear it with the lace vintage bolero. Which, oh my god, are you kidding me? She is so, she's so cute. I love this one. Are you kidding me? These do so good for me when I go to vent at Topanga, but these are like a cute little vintage 70s moment with the ruffled front and then like the cute little bishop sleeve and the ruffled detail along the cuff. This one's more of a lighter like baby powder blue and then we have the pink which I absolutely love. I just love me a good pink moment and I love that it's in this like long sleeve style because i feel like who doesn't need a pop of color during the winter or fall and i just feel like this pink one is just gonna do it and it is so so gorgeous i just love the ruffles in the front and i just think they're so cute so i had to take them this one was hanging over all the jeans and i was like what is this i didn't like the material at first but once i opened it i was like oh my god i love this and this also is going on my plus rice this is a 2x and i am obsessed it's a cute little y2k vintage shirt with the cowl neckline and look at this sleeve are you kidding me this sleeve is gorgeous oh my god i'm obsessed like ah! i feel like it's giving like y2k body but it could also give kind of like witchy halloween which i mean we love both of those things so yes <laughs> oh i found me a vintage forever 21 little frilly cardigan and are you kidding me she is gorgeous she's a little like knit moment and she has little tie front closures i feel like this would have been perfect for festival season it has all these beads hanging from it i don't know if you guys can see but it is so freaking cute and just simple i love how like frilly it is and i feel like that's my new word frilly but yeah this color i wish i would keep it for myself but this color just doesn't do me justice i don't really like when colors blend into my clothing, then I just look naked. So yeah, I just think this is so gorgeous. I love this one so much. It's so cute. Oh, I can't wait to take all these pieces out if they're not sold by then, but I'm so excited to take these all to my market. I am, I'm just excited to go back out there again. <laughs> I did pick up two t-shirts. Um, I was thinking for Juan Carlos, and I think he did like both of them. I just don't know if we're going to keep them. He's still debating if we want to keep them, but I scored a cute little hundreds um, tie-dye shirt. I feel like this is very much Juan Carlos' style. He likes like tie-dye and stuff like that. I just don't know if he's like big on the graphic. So yeah, this one was pretty cool. It was hanging um, up top, and that's where I found a lot of my pieces. So yeah, I thought this one was kind of cool. And then out of nowhere, like when I was doing my last round, I was like, okay, like I'm ready to go. You know, I'm going to take a last peek and see what I can find. I found this Stussy shirt. Are you kidding me? I looked it up and I think the one I found, there's one that I found that was going for 180, I want to say, or 108, one of those two. But yeah. It's too big for Juan Carlos. It's a large, but I just feel like it's too, like, wide for him. So, yeah, this was, like, in crispy, clean condition, too. And I washed it still, and I just feel like it's such good quality, and I love the graphic. I think it is so cool, and, yeah, I am so excited. When I was saying bye to my friends, because um, I... I ran into two of my friends there and then I ran into this guy I was chatting with and I was like, oh, it was like nice meeting you, blah, blah. And I was like, I hope like you found some good stuff because he had like a big cart of stuff. He's like, you took my favorite item. I was like, I'm so sorry. <laughs> but yes, this is either going to be for Juan Carlos. If not, I'll probably have it up for sale on Deep on Depop or something because I probably won't put that up on the website. But but yeah guys that is gonna be the end of today's video i hope you guys enjoyed hanging out with me i know the filming was kind of like hard it was so hard to film in there because it was so crazy but i hope you guys enjoyed all the pieces like i mentioned they are gonna be all up on the website so if you guys want to purchase any link is down below in my bio as always give your girl a big thumbs up subscribe down below if you haven't subscribed already and i will see you guys next week with a brand new video bye guys